Hi, that's my version of This Train. This is a very old song, a bit of a blues, a bit more of a spiritual. It comes back into public attention every so often, mainly due to renewed interest in Sister Rosetta Tharp, who is one of the pioneers of electric blues, and this is a hit for her. Of course, she sang it and played fills, but today we're doing the melody, because it's a great beginner slide exercise. So once again, uh, hold your slide parallel to the frets, and mute behind it, it's usually a better sound that way. And I'll take you through the song. I'm tuned to G open, G, D, G. And you'll notice right away that the uh, I'm starting on a five, which is the same as your open string. Now, if you're really, really new and you have trouble getting pitches and stuff like that, you can start with your open string or five open or open five. The reason I'm choosing five, even though it's the same note, is so I can get some vibrato. This is uh, one of the really nice things about playing slide. Now, vibrato won't cover up bad playing, but it will help you center in on a pitch when you're starting. So don't be afraid to use some. Or if you find that motion difficult, then just don't use any at all. Anyway, here's the first line. Five, five. Then over here, four on the high string. And I usually uh, keep my strings muted with my right hand. They're kind of lying on them if I don't need them. And I often tip my slide slightly up. So I'm just getting the top string so I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> or... Um, it sounds a little cleaner. So anyway, once again, 5-5. Five, five. Four, two, zero. Two, zero on the middle string. 5-5. Five, five. I'll play it one more time for you. And you can slide into any of these notes. It's sort of better to slide into a note from below than from above, although when you get really good you can kind of do whatever you want. There's no real rule, it's just you tend to sound better coming up to a pitch. Okay, line two. This is four, seven. And there's a little pause on the second note of each of these measures, by the way. And then seven, nine, seven, four, seven, and then seven, two. And you might find it difficult to jump from seven to two. So you can slide down if you like. That would work. I'll play that for you. And then we come into the tricky line. I guess you could call it line three. It starts off the same way, four, seven. Seven, nine, seven. Now we're gonna do eighth notes, so we're gonna play them twice as fast. We've been kind of going one, two, three, four. That first part would be one, two, three, four, one, two. This would be three and four and. So the four is eighth notes, and the count would be three and four and. I hope you can hear my voice over top of that. Then two zero, and then eighth notes again on the middle string on the second fret, which would be, this would be one, two, one, two, three, and four. Up 
to four on the uh, fourth fret on the high string. So that was all quarter notes. that and that sort of turns things around because that was actually the end sort of like the ending of that phrase but it's also beginning of the uh, song right and that's also going to be the ending of the song so I'll, I'll play that difficult part for you real slow and then I'll play the last line which is exactly the same as the first line four two zero two zero on the middle five five on the middle that middle line is a little challenging good next step for any of you beginners out there hope you enjoy playing that song have a great day